from WNY News, this is First Morning Weather. Well, welcome back. After a snowy day today, now we're looking at some breaks in the overcast and some bitterly cold temperatures in that storm system's wake. In fact, uh, as you take a look at our temperature bug here at the bottom of your screen outside our studios, down to one degree. And we're likely to drop below zero in some of the colder pockets. So bitterly cold conditions tonight. And when the wind stirs up a little bit, it's not going to take much to drive wind chills down to about 10 degrees below zero or so. So bitterly cold conditions here through the overnight period and into Wednesday. You can see the fresh snow on the ground here at the Cornell campus. And for the most part, our viewing area coming in with five, six inches of snow on average. And you can see some pretty hefty snowfall totals across the region. Uh, down the bottom of the screen, you might not be able to see that, but that's Ridgeberry at six inches, uh, five and a half in Bath, Elmira, Covington, five inches, Corning and Candor also five inches. Uh, what's I think most impressive with this snow is that we only had liquid equivalent of two tenths of an inch despite these hefty snowfall totals. So I guess you can say not all snow was created equal. Remember the six inches that we had two weekends ago, that was a heavy snow, slushy snow to move. We had over an inch water content in that six inches. But again, this time around less than a quarter of an inch liquid. So very dry and very powdery out there. And uh, as the winds start to pick up again tomorrow, uh, we could still get some blowing and drifting. Now here's a look at the uh, satellite radar imagery loop over the last 24 hours. So you can see how that storm uh, progressed. Again, it started out down over the Tennessee Valley late last night. All this moisture spreading off towards the north and east. And we were kind of on the northwestern fringe of that, but in a little bit of a sweet spot there again with uh, numerous spots coming in with over six inches of accumulation. That's off into New England and we're left with uh, dry conditions for the overnight period. Tomorrow looking dry as well with plenty of sunshine. And look at this persistent lake effect snow hammering the south towns of Buffalo. They remain under a lake effect snow warning with another one to two feet of snow possible in the Orchard Park area. So boy, they're going to have their hands full trying to uh, clear out the stadium yet again for this weekend's upcoming football game. Again, locally, we're not seeing any snow. It's just bitterly cold out there with temperatures in the colder spots down into the single digits. Tomorrow's planner showing sunshine, so that's good news. And uh, temperatures closing in on about 20 degrees. But these wind chills, brutally cold in spots, uh, double digits below zero in some areas as we progress through the morning and barely easing up here as we head through the afternoon. So definitely want to layer up as you head out tomorrow morning. 23 is what we forecast for a high today, and that was our official high temperature. Down to the single digits tonight, some of the coldest spots actually below zero. 20, our five degree guarantee tomorrow. Couple snow showers possible Thursday. Another storm system bypasses us to the south on Friday. That could potentially bring a couple inches of snow our way. A lingering snow shower possible Saturday. And finally, early next week, we're back above freezing for highs.